Reuters Seattle, Washington, Reuters, Boeing Co. On Wednesday took its most aggressive moves yet to defend its core 737 airliner franchise, saying it had developed software fixes to prevent failures of an automated flight control system that is being scrutinized after two deadly crashes in the past five months. Boeing, in the midst of one of its worst crises in years, is under pressure from crash victims, families, airlines, lawmakers in Washington and regulators around the world to prove that the automated flight control systems of its 737 MAX aircraft are safe, and that pilots have the training required to override the system in an emergency. The 737 MAX planes were grounded worldwide following an Ethiopian Airlines disaster on March 10 that killed 157 people, five months after a Lion Air crash in Indonesia that left 189 dead. A Boeing official in Seattle said on Wednesday the timing of the software upgrade was 100% independent of the timing of the Ethiopian accident, and the company was taking steps to make the anti-stall system more robust. There was no need to overhaul Boeing's regulatory relationship with the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration now, the company said. We are going to do everything that we can do to ensure that accidents like these never happen again, said Mike Sinnott, Vice President for Product Strategy and Future Airplane Development. The FAA said it had not reviewed or certified the software upgrade yet. The FAA has agreed to significantly improve its oversight of organizations performing certifications on its behalf by July, U.S. Transportation Department Inspector General Calvin Scoville told a Senate panel on Wednesday. U.S. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao and some lawmakers questioned why Boeing did not require safety features on its top-selling plane that might have prevented the crashes. Executives with U.S. Airlines welcomed Boeing's moves, but want U.S. regulators to sign off on the upgrade. Southwest Airlines Co., which on Wednesday became the first major airline to formally cut its financial outlook for the year after being forced to pull its max fleet of 34 jets out of service, supported Boeing's decision. Boeing's software update appears to add yet another layer of safety to the operation of the MAX aircraft. Southwest Certificate Chief Pilot, Bob Waltz, said. Members of the Allied Pilots Association, which represents pilots of American Airlines Group Inc., the largest U.S. carrier, were among the 200 airline customers and others who spent the day at Boeing getting details. With the software enhancements, we now have several layers of protection. American Airlines Captain Roddy Guthrie said. He said he was confident, however, flying the 737 MAX in its current state. It could take two weeks after new training protocols are approved to train all American pilots, Guthrie said. The certification process should not be a rush, the association said in a statement earlier on Wednesday. The fix should be fully vetted and take into account any further information from an investigation into the Ethiopian Airlines crash, the association said. United Airlines Vice President Michael Chiello said the airline was optimistic about the software update, but was counting on the FAA to certify the change. Airline stocks turned positive after Boeing unveiled the software fix. CFRA analyst Jim Cordor, who has a buy rating on Boeing, said news from the company and the Washington hearing were positive steps toward getting the MAX jets airborne again. Boeing said it would change the design of the system so that it no longer relied on a single sensor. The changes also would make standard visual warnings to the pilots if the system had stopped working. Previously, those warning messages and displays had been optional speech.